July 4th and we're uh, experiencing yet another monsoon. We had this uh, pretty much the whole month of June and looks like it's going to continue into July. So the flash flood's probably close to being over. So it's uh, it's softer hail. There is some hardness to it. Uh, it's not ice though. It probably pushed all the hay down. I don't know how much damage it actually done to it. The grass in the yard, it's not very tall, but it was coming straight down and straight down is a lot better because when it comes straight down it only like let's say snaps the the stem off of one plant when it goes on about a 30 degree angle that's bad especially when it's hard because it takes out let's say three to five plants every every piece of hail that comes in on a diagonal it it nails multiple plants and uh, so you don't want to see it hail especially the fourth of July and uh, I guess if it does, coming straight down is better than coming in on an angle. So I wouldn't be surprised if we got an inch. I'll have to go check the rain gauge. But definitely got the flash flooding effect going on. With uh, essentially, whether you believe in climate change or not, there is some type of climate change because uh, I grew up in Alberta all 37 years and. Uh, it don't flash flood like this multiple times a summer. Uh, Calgary just got whaled with, uh, let's say, baseball size hail, cost up to a billion dollars insurance. Uh, we've been having these mini monsoons all the month of June. Uh, like it looks like it snowed in places, and uh, you can't quite see your breath. So, anyways, uh, just thought I'd show that see what the monsoons are like for monsoon June but like I said it's actually July 4th so anyways